Last week I reviewed the big 5.5 inch Speed 7 Plus. In this video I'm going to show you the little brother, the 5 inch Speed 7. I'm Styler and this is my quick review of the Sobo Speed 7. So not everybody like big 5.5 inch phones and search for smaller alternatives. The Speed 7 is only on 5 inch and basically just a smaller version of the Speed 7 Plus with almost the same hardware. Besides the size, the biggest differences are a smaller battery and a better price. The display brightness is still good but slightly lower, but without both phones in your hands you will probably not notice it. Also I must say that the camera in my opinion is a little bit better on the plus version, but still the camera is very decent and useful. Let's see what you get together with the phone. First of all we have the wall charger. Branded with the Sopo logo, we have a CE logo, it's rated 5 volt, 1 amp. We have the micro USB cable. We find some earphones. And we also get a tempered glass protector. Real glass, hard. And there's also included some wipes, so you can remove the dust first and dirt. We have some papers, sobomobile.com, I believe these are the social media channels. So this looks exactly like on the Sobo Speed 7 Plus. Let's see in English and a quick guide also in English, different languages and also German. And last we have a cover, flip cover with a window, circle window. And uh, the window here will display the clock or other features. We have shortcuts to the camera, the gallery settings and so on. I will show this later. But it's very nice that you get this cover included. And the back here has some kind of texture so it's not slippery at all. Feels really nice in the hand. And let's also have a quick look on the specifications on the box, the packaging. So it's exactly like on the Speed 7 Plus. We also see the specifications almost the same, only the battery is a bit smaller and uh, it's only a 5.0 inch but still full HD, 4G support, dual SIM. Let's see here on the back side. And again, we see it says 1.5 gigahertz, but in reality, it's only 1.3 using the MTK6753 octa-core. But besides that, everything is exactly the same as on the Speed 7 Plus. Let's also compare the back side. And uh, now let's have a look at the phone design. So um, the top and the bottom part are white. We see the display is pretty dark and black. In the top we find the earpiece together with the light and proximity sensor and the front facing camera. And there is also a red notification LED. We see in the bottom only the Sopo logo and uh, the phone will have on-screen touch buttons. So only on the screen, no hardware buttons at all. Let's see in the bottom, we find the micro USB port together with the microphone. We have here a frame that is pretty nice, but uh, it's still just made of plastic, but it seems to be in a very solid quality. On this side here, we find the volume rocker together with the power button. In the top we just have the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back side we find the rear camera together with a single LED flash and the Sopo logo. We have here um, a texture, a brushed texture on the surface of the back cover. And uh, here in the bottom we find the rear speaker. We see it says designed in Europe and we have a CE logo. So that's it for the design and let's try to open up the back. 
So the back cover here is pretty flexible, you can see. What we have here is support for micro SD card. We have dual SIM. So it support two times uh, micro SIM cards. We have a 2500 mAh battery and we see the rear speaker. Let's have a closer look at the battery and we see it here. Rated capacity 2500 mAh. And below here we'll also see the model number CP951. We will also find two IMEI numbers and a CE logo. So the CE logo you can see here. So uh, here you can see the two phones. This is the Speed 7 Plus and this is just the Speed 7. So the main difference is the size. As you can see 5.5 inch and 5.0 inch. But also the display is a little bit brighter on the Plus as on the Non Plus. But the Non Plus is also cheaper so you must also consider that. And uh, the battery in this one is on 2500 and the Plus has a 3000. But both phones have excellent battery time. While I tested both phones, um, I experienced that I could go through one day with no kind of problems. I think maybe it would be possible to get through uh, one and a half day or maybe two days if you don't use the phone that much. We also see the Sopo logo, similar. See the back side, also exactly the same with the speaker, the text, the logo, camera, and so on. So uh, here you can also see the display on both, and right now they are using full brightness. Let me try to see if I can tilt the display so both phones have excellent viewing angles and the screen is very sharp so it's hard to reproduce here in a video but the brightness is a little bit higher on the plus version but still you can see the display is excellent on the normal version also Let's have a look at the phone. So it's very similar to the Speed 7 Plus that I reviewed a week ago. But you can see that the UI is on this version here also very snappy and fast. And like on the Plus version, we have exactly the same pre-installed apps, bloatware I would call it. You also have the Apus Launcher and other stuff like Opera. And we have something called Popstar Plus, Taste of Life, WhatsApp, and so on. Let's test out the double tap to wake. Yeah, let's try out to slide up. And let me try out a M for the music player. So off screen gestures are also supported. And we also have air gestures. Let's check out the viewing angles. So you can see very, very nice viewing angle. Very sharp picture, good colors. So the viewing angles are similar, good as on the plus version, but the brightness, even though it looks very bright here, is not as high as on the plus version. The plus version has, I think about 10% percent more brightness but still this display here is amazing very very good and uh, actually I read on the internet about some users that reported the uh, problems with the uh, widgets or the Wi-Fi but um, as soon I got the phone I updated uh, with the latest OTA wireless update and uh, the update actually fixed many of these problems. So I haven't uh, experienced any of these problems while I tested the phone. So far everything worked fine. 
And uh, now let's have a look inside the camera app. So the camera is also very stock, but we have extra support for picture in picture, as you can see here. And uh, let's see inside the settings. These are also very normal and stock standard settings. Video and picture, 13 megapixels. But overall, a pretty decent camera. I will, uh, as always, also provide some uh, samples below in the video description. So please have a look there for some high resolution samples. So I can clearly recommend this phone here or the plus version if you want a phone with decent camera. And let me try out the flashlight. So the flashlight is very strong. Of course, it's hard to see here in the video, but uh, it does give a lot of bright light, even though it's only a single LED. And uh, here you can see the notification LED in a red color. So the phone only support notifications in red. There are no multicolors. And uh, a closer look at the software buttons, on-screen buttons, back, home and menu. No kind of hardware buttons. And let me just scroll down and show you the quick toggles. We have a real Android 5.1 lollipop. So in the settings, we have home, you can choose the launcher tree or APOS display, support for mirror vision, storage, 11.23 gigabyte in one partition. Let's see the RAM consumption. Two gigabyte free. Let's see cached 1.6. Then we have location, gesture sensing and smart wake. So here air gestures for camera, gallery and music player, launcher and so on. We also have the smart wake, double tap to wake. You can draw different letters to open some apps. Multi-language. And we find about phone. Let me show you the build number. This one here is from 11th September 2015. Android version 5.1. We see the model number, support for wireless update. Let's check. So regarding the connectivity on this phone here, it's very similar to the Speed 7 Plus. Uh, I'm not going to do a test call and so on because um, the sound quality is uh, the same, it's good. And uh, the Wi-Fi is also very nice. Right now I'm actually three rooms away from my Wi-Fi router, but as you can see the signal is still very decent. And uh, regarding the network, also, this uh, is the same as on the Plus version. There's no kind of problems. Network is working fine on 2G, 3G and 4G. So the only thing I maybe want to point out is that, as told, the Wi-Fi is uh, really good. But I noticed that the speed on the Wi-Fi is not exactly the same as on the Speed 7 Plus. The, the Plus version was a little bit faster in Wi-Fi, but still, uh, I had no kind of problems. It really downloads fast from the Play Store and uh, still, as you can see, the range is really good. So that's actually just a small thing, but um, this is just if I have to say a difference between these two. The Wi-Fi is a little bit lower on this uh, version, the normal version, than on the Plus. But I guess the antenna in the Plus version is also maybe a little bit bigger. So that could maybe be the reason. So now let's also try out the circle case. We see a clock in a round circle. You can swipe and even move it around. Very nice animation. Let's try to open up the music player. Let's try out the settings. Okay, so you can even see some of the settings here in the circle window. Clock style, screen timeout, 
audio profiles and you can go directly to the dialer, the SMS or the camera. Pretty nice features and uh, it seems to work really really great. It's fast and smooth. So this is the Apus launcher. You can see the launcher is different now. The icons have also changed. So this launcher is just included on the phone from stock. So you can choose if you want to use the stock launcher or the, the Apus launcher. Let's try to see. We have some settings here. And um, Apus settings. There are a lot of different settings to customize 
activate news feed, notification toolbar and so on. But I prefer the cleaner uh, stock look. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this one here really quick.